Can you use a space heater in a camper? A space heater is a quick fix, but can you use it in a camper? There are many safety concerns regarding the use of space heaters not just in campers but also at home. While they can easily heat up a room, they can be dangerous when not used correctly. With proper practices, however, they can be very convenient in helping you keep warm. Make sure you follow the safety precautions recommended by the National Fire Protection Association NFPA. If not, there are other heating options to consider which may be safer according to your preference. How long can my RV battery run an electric heater? While majority of the RVs in the market have built-in propane heating systems, many RVers have switched to electric heaters because they are more efficient and economical. These heaters run on electricity and may need short power, but they can operate on RV batteries, too. But the question on how long your RV battery can run an electric heater is something that has no specific answer. There are factors that must be considered here such as the efficiency of your heater and the amp hours. I've heard varying answers, however. The most common answer is one night. One suggestion was to test your electric heater in the driveway to see how long it operates off the RV battery. Other options for heating your RV Whether your built-in furnace does not give you enough heat or you are looking at cutting your propane costs, there are other heating means that you can consider. Here are other options based on what I've gathered from fellow RVers. Portable heaters Heaters that are battery operated are mostly for personal use but can help in keeping you warm without fire hazards. Heat pumps take the heat from the outside and move it inside the RV where it's needed. Wood stove A wood stove is also a good alternative. It will give you almost the same heat but with smaller space required. Solar heating box If you prefer to go green and leave less carbon print, then go for solar heating boxes. You can even make your own. These boxes collect heat and transfer it inside the RV via convection. How to heat an RV without electricity? Here are other ways you can warm up your RV without the use of heaters. Get as much direct sunlight as you can and position your largest window towards the sun to get added heat. Insulate your windows, vents, and underbelly. If insulating your underbelly is a challenge, install a skirting instead. Cover the floor with carpets or rugs. Cover the screen door with plastic wrap or shrink plastic. Make sure there are no leaks and gaps to prevent the cold air from coming in. How to heat an RV in the winter The extreme cold can be a burden and some RVers consider winter as a hibernation period for camping. But that shouldn't be the case. Along with other tips already mentioned, here are more ways to heat your RV in the winter. Invest in a secondary heat source. Oil-filled electric heaters are popular alternatives to space heaters as secondary heat. They are safer and noise-free. Another safer option is catalytic heaters that make use of a catalyst converting fuel to heat without flames. Make use of insulated snakes. Insulated snakes are stuffed cloth tubes that are placed at the bottom of the door to keep cold air from entering. 
These are usually used in traditional homes but work well in RVs, too. Keep your internal plumbing warm. Open the cabinets in your bathroom and kitchen to allow your RV's heat to keep your internal plumbing warm. Allow your faucet to make small drips to keep the water moving and reduce the possibility of freezing. Heating pads also help. To keep your water system from freezing, place heat pads under each drain pipe or holding tank exposed to cold air.